hey guys welcome to my channel it's your girl michelle from honey sim ja if you're joining me for the very first time welcome i'm so happy to have you if you're not joining me for the very first time wagwan man big up yourself and thank you for your continued love and support so in today's video, I will be showing you how to buy gas here in Japan using a self-service gas station. Now, of course, as you can imagine, gas stations are everywhere across Japan. You can find them on main roads before the entrances to express highways and at highway service stations. These gas stations dispense regular diesel and high octane fuel. The word for full tank in Japanese is mantan. There are also car wash vending machines and sometimes even small shops at these gas stations where you can refresh yourself or just take a break some rural gas stations offer the full japanese road test called shaken so if you're unaware of where you can get your shaken done then you can definitely ask around at these gas stations now there are two types of gas stations here in japan the first Full service, which has attendants who fill up your car, they will clean your windscreen, they will check your tires and take your garbage. They also help you to re-enter the traffic flow, which I think is very cool and I smile every time I observe it happening. Full service gas stations also charge more, as you can imagine, and usually close in the evening. The second type of gas station is the self-service gas station, which we will be focusing on in this video. Now these gas stations, they are open 24 seven. Using a self-service gas station can be tricky, especially if you don't speak nor read Japanese like myself. You will need to operate a machine and pay in cash or by credit card, but never fear. That's why I'm here. So if you're interested in learning how to use a self-service gas station here in Japan, then let's do this. <music> So this is usually what the standby screen looks like. And although you see some English, don't get too excited because yeah, these machines generally do not have English menu. So Japan is the country of point cards. So you wanna make sure that you try and get yourself a point card that you can use at the particular gas station that you intend on using. I personally have a T point card this point card is very popular here in Japan and can be used at many different stores. Another thing to note about using these gas station point cards is that with these cards, you are able to get the rate of the gas a bit lower than the actual price that they are selling it for. So you want to go ahead and just tap the screen and you will get a list of different options. So starting from the top left hand corner, there is the gas station card, there is credit card, there is a payment method called any key, there is the T-point card which I mentioned earlier, electronic money, a Nanako point card which is used at places like 7-Eleven, and the cash option. If you guys take a look at the bottom of the screen, you will see where it says English I, however, didn't notice this until I started editing this video because I'm not used to this being on screen. So I ended up going back to this gas station another day because I wanted to see what this option really entailed. So this was a screen that popped up after I pressed English. And as you guys can see, it will only allow you to use this option if you have the following credit card, Visa, MasterCard, JCB, American Express, or the Diners Club. So outside of those, you have to use the Japanese menu to purchase your gas. So today I'll be using cash to purchase my gas. So go ahead and tap the button that says cash. After you've done that, you want to go ahead and insert your points card so the machine can register the amount of points you have as well as add on the points that you will be getting. If you won't be using a point card, you want to go ahead and press Nashi, which means nothing. This screen now shows you the type of gas available, regular, I octane, diesel, and the red one that I'm pointing at is regular, and that's what most cars in Japan use. 
please check with your car dealership or the owners of the car before purchasing gas so as to ensure that you're putting the correct gas inside the vehicle. For a full tank of gas, you want to go ahead and press Manton, which I'm now pointing at, or you can press the small button next to it, which gives you the option of choosing how much you would like to spend. The screen that follows will then ask you if you would like to use your points that you already have. I usually don't use my points until I've accumulated over 300 points, so I choose yet yeah, no. And then it is time to insert the money. You can use bills as well as coins. You will then be asked if you'd like to be issued a receipt or not. And now it's time to collect your change and your receipt. Please note that at some gas stations, you will receive your receipt and your change from the same machine you used to order the gas. However, at some gas stations, you will have to go to another machine to receive your change. At these other gas stations, your receipt will have a barcode on it, which you will then scan on the other machine to receive your change. These machines are usually located not very far from the pump that you are using. And there you have it. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful and informative. Be sure to share it with a friend. If you have any questions, meet me down in the comment section. Until my next video, see you. Bye.